here we are at my Egret Tours Marina settlement. This was uh, probably one of the last settlements I discovered and the last one I constructed before I started uh, reworking all the other ones. Uh, so it, it is pretty full of stuff to look at. <laughs> um, road entrance over here. It's kind of just a big empty parking lot sort of area here in the front, so I put up some barriers and guard posts, as you can see. We got the uh, spotlights going on these telephone poles. Which, for once, were actually already you know, on the map, so I didn't have to build telephone poles. So they're actually organic to this location. It's one of my favorite settlements, just because of the sort of layout and the stuff they gave you to work with. There's, you know, there's a decent amount of sediments on the water, but none that actually have, like, not too many that have a, uh, sort of marina dock area. Uh, the lighthouse might be the only other one. Uh, so this was a big sort of factory building that was already here originally. And so was these buildings over on this side. Here, there were some sandbags set up in this area, so, but I uh, mostly figured it would be good to have a guard post here in case enemies just sort of make a run for it since the border isn't impenetrable or anything. Uh, so I'll go check out this building first. I installed a restaurant and bar here, which is completely empty right now, I guess because it's the morning. Got all their stock ingredients here. Little lounging area. And here's the kitchen Out here. cooking area. You take things one day at a time. The only bad part about this setup is that the workbench is here, so I gotta squeeze past all these guys if I ever want to access it. Hope you ain't here for me. Ah, and you know they're using the workbench as <laughs> bar shelf. Another day of hard work never changes. Dining booths along the wall here. And a couple tables. And unfortunately, this broken part of the house that goes to the second floor, you can't actually scrap it without scrapping the entire building. It's all one solid piece for whatever reason. So that has to awkwardly jut out in the middle of the dining room, unfortunately. Uh, Ain't looking for trouble. Go up the stairs, uh, main living quarters for everybody. And sort of an office area where they have the uh, yeah. communications desk. Where 
about Diamond City's most effective detectives. And in this little room, we have the bathroom. This is where the big hole in the floor with the, the part coming down is downstairs, so I just patched that up with some extra wooden floor. Let's see up to the docks there. This, uh, the guard post wasn't here, but they had, like, a outlook already built in, so I decided to make that a guard post as well. And then I have some scaffolding stairs going up to the roof, where I have built some additional housing. Um, one of the mods I had unlocked an Institute build set after a while, so that's what they use for these. Uh, it doesn't quite go with the aesthetic of the rest of the place. I don't know why I did it, but they're up here on top. I figured they're, like, slightly ritzier, uh, apartments for the vendors, people who have more money than the rest of us. Because capitalism is still alive and well after the apocalypse. <laughs> and here's like a little antenna array for the communication station. Uh, have some non functional conduits extending down into the building underneath here into the communication station. Just for a look of realism, I guess. Just the other apartment. I kind of just like the Institute build set because it has these big, uh, full wall sized windows and stuff. It's pretty nice looking. This is just sort of a spot where people come up on the roof and drink, as you can tell. Uh, I got the turrets up here and then across the way on the other building. I actually had a couple more turrets, but I removed them because it was really making the... It was really hitting the performance, so... And I, I guess I didn't really need them. It's kind of overkill. That's the roof. Let's get back down. Alright, and uh, before I go in the other building, I guess I'll go around back here. This is where I put the uh, farming area. This, uh, they already had this sort of fenced-in area here. Of course, I erected all these big barriers uh, up, winding up the uh, border with the woods. Because otherwise there was always a group of like rad stags or whatever wandering through and the settlers would go all insane and start shooting everything. Uh, so this keeps them out and also kind of makes sense as a defense. Uh, so here's the farm farming area. I'm getting tired of waiting. The farm's not much, but it's something. 
Deacon, you're standing in the produce. Yes. What shenanigans are we up to today? Alright, so after that we have out back here, here's the boardwalk area. And now we'll go check out the other main the main building. Which I turned into my workshop and living area. So I have this entrance over here. Got the uh, power armor station. Sort of my supply area for weapons and ammo. And then the two armor and weapons workbenches. And then over at the back of this building here, we have a generator. And in there is my safe where I keep nuclear material. Ground safe. do anything with this area. Uh, I did build a bridge to connect the two though. And on the side of the building I have the chemistry station. And all the chem supplies. On the second level is where we have my living area for myself. And yeah, here's a food storage frizz with a bunch of Nuka World Nuka Cola stuff stocked in it. I think I put every, at least one of every flavor in there, more or less. Might be missing some of the ones that just have. Uh, duplicate bottles for their things. And some Vim on top. And there's one of my power armor suits. I've actually, at this uh, late point in the game, whenever I still go out and, and play and not just do settlement stuff, I've been doing it out of power armor now that my character is so, you know, built up. <laughs> he doesn't really need it. Ah, uh, it's just a food storage area. And you can get out onto this roof here. Uh, where I just put the recruitment antenna signal and some turrets. That's about it. And then you walk across the platform here. And it's my little bedroom area with my cat, and I think, yep, this is where I had left dog meat last. With his toys. Yeah, so this is just my little nice bedroom area. Got all sorts of stuff here. And yeah, really should add that open outwards. 
Just another turret here for this side of the settlement. I'm always getting invaded by robots and stuff from that area over there. Uh, this goes up to the roof of this building. This was already in place. I think there was like a loop. Yeah, I think that cooler had stuff in it originally. So it just has the turrets and stuff up here. Get a nice view of everything, I guess. down take a look at the marina area. Uh, something out back here. It's kind of a vacant lot. I guess if I need to I can make this into another crop growing area. So here's a little Plank bridge connecting these two parts, because originally it was just this uh, for the boats when the marina was still functional, I guess. Ah, uh, there's a little boathouse over here that I transformed into my clinic. Probably my most comprehensive clinic outside of the vault. Supplies here. Little research station for the doctor here. Office. Hospital beds. These lights are supposed to be functional, but they don't work. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, like, they have a little prompt to turn them on and off, but nothing happens when you use it. But I think they still look good in, in the context. We have our big water pump. And the sort of entrance over here has another guard post. This, can, this is actually where the most enemies spawn, for whatever reason. And here is the front of the clinic. Oops. Yeah, that shouldn't be showing up. That's one of the uh, action markers for NPCs. It's displaying outside of workshop mode. So let me take a look at you. I'm gonna go ahead and say it because this is a Bethesda game. Got a little freezer for blood packs here. All these supplies you could want. That just goes right back to where we were before. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. I'll go back around to the other side of the marina. And didn't really do anything on this side. It's just kind of a storage area for all the merchants and little guard post watching the river here, uh, in case any super mutants come cruising by on their yacht. <laughs> I don't know. Got work to do. Can't talk now. Alright, so now we'll go look at the center of the marina which I turned into kind of like a little promenade uh, for people to enjoy. 
mind with the shops. And for some reason, one of my caravans is always perched on top of that roof. I don't know why. Uh, let's get the soda machines here. So, first store. So here's the uh, sort of boardwalk promenade area. Benches and stuff. Uh, first store is the armor store. Yes. It's the first time when I built stores that I really sort of uh, stocked them full of displays and things like that. So it's got all sorts of armor in these crates here, and he shares a space with the weapons, so there's like also guns and ammo behind the counter here. And uh, two big armor displays. smaller guns and weapons in yes. this case over here. And some handheld melees in this case. And then on this side we have our clothing store, which is probably the fullest clothing store I've built. Display case for various hats here. Uh, sunglasses, regular glasses, bandanas. Got some store mannequins here for the dapper folks. And this one for if you're feeling more fancy. <laughs> and some more clothing in this display. Here, got a shoe rack. Uh, that was part of the one of the mods I have, Creative Clutter mod, and clothing rack. Just the regular storefront here. The crops coming in pretty good. Sure. And then at the end of the promenade, this, this building was already part of the settlement. Uh, it's got the sort of diner look to it, but the inside had a bunch of shelves and various items, so I decided to turn it into the uh, General Trader store. And like when I was doing the video for the castle, it looks like a lot of the textures are not loading in this one because there are a whole bunch of ones and I just do not have the specs for them all at the same time, I suppose. Anyway, she's got all sorts of stuff here. Cigarettes, baseballs, radios, fans, stuff here, stuff here. Silverware. Need to get back. Various odds and ends. And they have a little searchlight on the back here, I think. Yeah. This kind of looks out over the water. And about covers all of the uh, main areas in the settlement. Again, it's just, uh, I really like the layout and sort of a book of everything. It feels like kind of a nice, uh, almost vacation spot from the west of the Commonwealth. It's getting to be night, so I'll take a look at the settlement at night like I usually do. Uh, I'll wait till it gets a little bit darker. Yes. My guess.
God, your spotlight is bright. Sit on this bench for a little bit. Now it's nighttime proper. Uh, so you can see a few searchlights going here at the front. Spotlights. Farming's as honest as honest work gets. I really wish they would have given them like varied dialogue depending on what role you assign them to. That would have been neat. Oh. I guess could have made the buildings a different set than the shacks, made it a little nicer looking, but uh, I don't know how this works. Sort of uh, blends in with the dock itself, I think that's why I decided on it. That's about it for Egret Tours Marina. <laughs> yeah, so I used that mod that uh, gives the settlers various actions to do on those place markers that I mentioned before, and it actually works surprisingly better in this settlement than others for some reason. They actually use them a lot more. Yeah, but of course they'll still do typical Bethesda NPC stuff like stand in the water staring at a wall. <laughs> So that is my Egret Tours Marina settlement. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe get some ideas. Uh, one of my favorite settlements for sure. Sorry if the uh, frame rate was a bit choppy. <coughs> There's just kind of a lot of NPCs and turrets in a compact space, so that really uh, drops performance down a lot. And. Yep. That is it. Uh, next video will be possibly the lighthouse or Nordhagen Beach. Uh, redoing the videos for those that I had done before. And as always, at some point, if you ain't been up to see Greg Garden, you should go. 
whole place is run by robots. I will see you next time.